Hello everyone, Watch21 here and today I have another unboxing. Today I am looking at the Albot, 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 something like that, mid-size tripod and in here should be also a monopod as well. So let's get right into it. I've uh, just set up a bit of an area by here because obviously this is a large thing. Right, so straight in, just open them up, we've instantly got a bag little gel pouch as well to keep the uh, moisture away from the bag as as we all know that uh, moisture can get into uh, fabric so here we are, nice little pouch uh, looks like we've got a zipper on one side going all the way around with a logo on the front and carry handle obviously we just want to get straight inside and actually have a look at what's inside so let's just move the bag out of the way and it's sealed in a bag, come out the bottom. Still the, the secondary bag, which could probably just go into the uh, rubbish bin. And here we go. Here is a tripod with a bit of a operational instructions to uh, go with it to tell you how it's all done. I'll probably have a look at them in a minute. And here is the tripod itself. Nice handle on the tripod. So there we go, we can carry it around however you want to carry it. Actually it's just off camera that was. So and on one of the legs we got the logo on there. Our boot. Our bot. I'll, I'll call it our bot. Don't know why I'm trying to say boot because it's not double O. Well anyway, uh, let's just move this out of the way. And on one side, don't know if you can see it, we've got a spirit level there. To make sure it's all nice and level, we've got the handle uh, to basically move ahead. It was a little stiff to start with, but that's pretty good. Nice stiffness, so you're not gonna uh, roll it too much. Obviously, you can uh, tighten and loosen. Um, right, let's just um, set them up. So uh, you just opened up quite nicely. Let's do the first level of the legs. So there we go. Straight down. Um, by the way, actually, just uh, set a laptop up here. Um, this, uh, oh, actually, I'll just say on the box, because it actually says here, you got uh, heights on here. So from standard height, that is, I'm assuming with the legs uh, all the way down, uh, 54 centimeters. Maximum height, with it all raised up, 176.5 centimeters. So pretty good. It also does a maximum weight of 4 kilograms and 8.8 .8 pounds. So that's uh, basically the camera that you can put on the top of it. So there's one level up. And yeah, just uh, I'm just looking at the camera. So the head then. So obviously nice little smooth movement. It's a ball head obviously. And then you've got this which just raises up and down. And um, yeah, I actually haven't had a look at this, so I'm still trying to do this as well. On this side, you've got a little release clip by here. So you can open up so it says uh, free and lock. And for that, you basically you can take off your head. That on the end, there is a standard quarter inch um, screw type. So any camera with that head, I would show you, but obviously I'm recording on my current tripod. And then obviously at the bottom then you've got your standard screw so you basically hold that and that will screw into your camera. So let's just uh, put them back. I'll probably do a bit of b-roll afterwards, hopefully I will if I remember. And that way you can uh, see how that goes in. So just trying to... It's a bit of fiddle, like I said I haven't played with this prior. Oh actually it would help if I actually put that down, remember to put that down. So obviously, in we go, he's locked in place, that's not coming out. Um, you've got this here, which uh, we can lock it up and down, like my current tripod does. So obviously if you want to uh, take some photographs, video with it up like that, you just do that, lock it in place. He's not going anywhere. And you can twist that. No, actually, sorry, my bad. You've got this one here, which you twist. And that helps reduce. Uh, is there still a little bit of movement, but I haven't tightened up too much. So let's just loosen that up. 
and obviously then you've got this which raises up and down and again you just lock it in place like so so there you go you see that um nice stand yeah it's made of metal wouldn't say it's a fantastic metal but for the price uh sorry i didn't say that the price at the moment is 29.99 on uh uk amazon and i've seen one similar on amazon that is currently 43 pounds i'll link them both in the description below i'm just trying to work out now how to take this monopod bit though so bear with me i will be right back and we will i'll show you how to do it i'm back um just took a bit of b-roll um, of basically the stem and I can confirm that uh, it can reach 70 um, inches as it says and uh, the b-roll will be added in here but um, as I showed also in the b-roll there's like an inch gap where it says stop here there's an inch gap it's still solid it is still quite solid obviously I'm shaking this quite a bit so it, obviously it's not going to be like that uh, but when that is in um, perfectly is 69 inches so bear with that and also that was a bit of a derp easy to remove it it's like that literally when that's held in for 70 inches it's just holding by there so be careful with that so let's remove the tripod out of the way and here is the monopod literally you got obviously your standard tripod head and at the bottom here you've got this little screw bit you just twist that a little bit and out pops the monopod so there we go he's and the last leg and there we go so we got just lock him in place a bit i'm assuming you just twist there we go nope there we go yeah you do twist it so you got one two three four sections inside the monopod so there it is and then obviously you can use that if you're recording something like say there you can sort of like very slowly do your pan in and do your fancy stuff or whatever you want to do but there's the monopod there we go I'm bouncing that a little bit and there we go i just loosened it up there but i was giving that quite a bit of a bounce what you gotta do is give him a bit of a twist it looks like that is anti-clockwise to lock him in place so that is it, um, yeah, like I said, links are in the descri uh, description below uh, for this and hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I will be using this from now on because let's face it, the, the tripod I'm using is a good tripod but it's not tall enough for some of the stuff I need to do. Um, more reviews are coming soon on some other products, I've already received them. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now. Hello everyone. I know I just said that was the end of the video. But there's two things that I forgot to mention. Number one. This here. It's a little hook. So when you're out and about and you need some extra weight. Just grab something. Uh, with a bit of weight. And you can hang it there. Obviously there's nothing in there really weighty. But if you've got some uh, bags or something like that with a bit of weight. You could put it down there for extra stability, which I think is a fantastic idea. Most tripods have got them these days. The one that you're currently on has not got it. And I've pre-taken this off. Remember I said about that little screw there? Well, I've got the camera. Put them on the bottom. And then you could just screw them on. Obviously, first of all, I'll just let them twist a little bit. And there we go. He's nice and tight. There we go, there is a the camera, put him on, and right, yeah, obviously the other way, and there we go, camera is now on, sturdy, and you can do what you want with him, see, old camera I've got, but that's how you fit it, thank you for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to see more content from myself, Follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, Welsh21, or Twitch as well, at Welsh21 as well. Thank you for watching, and ciao for now.